With my very first ebook, I made about $1,500 in a weekend and I wrote it in a day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to figure out what to write your ebook about, how to finally get the information out of your head and onto the paper, and how to deliver it to your people. Let's talk about it. What's up y'all, welcome to the winning team. I'm Nikisha, if you're new. So if you're going through the process of trying to write your first ebook, I'm sure you have a lot of questions like, what do I even write this thing about? Now, the first thing I want you to understand is that getting that topic right is very, very important. And you choose this topic by assessing the skills and the talents, or maybe even the advice that you have to give someone else. In order for your ebook to do good, it needs to solve a clear problem. One problem. We are not trying to throw everything that we know into one ebook. Do you have extensive knowledge in something and maybe there's a one clear question that people ask you over and over and over again? You probably should write your ebook on that. Do you have years and years of experience doing something and people always come to you about that thing? Those are the type of things that you should write your ebook about. You should have extensive knowledge in it, be able to give advice on it, maybe relationships, maybe you've gone through a bad relationship and you're trying to prevent other women from going through that. Maybe you have a personal finance career and you wanna give tips there. Whatever you choose to write your ebook about, make sure that you have knowledge in it and that you're somewhat passionate about it too. Because people can feel when you really don't know what you're talking about and you just did research on something and tried to create an ebook, we're not doing none of that, okay? Make sure that you have the knowledge in the area that you're trying to teach someone something about, right? Most of the time, teaching ebooks do the best because most people want knowledge. They wanna learn something. If it's related to finances, relationships, or wellness, you can assure that those three topics will do well. It doesn't have to be in those areas as long as you have knowledge in it and you know what you're talking about. So you want to figure out how to choose a topic for your ebook based on your own knowledge talents, experience, or advice. The next thing you wanna do is your research, right? So you don't wanna just jump out here and make this ebook on something that you think would be a good idea. No, you wanna know for sure that your people want this and that it's going to sell when you finally create it because we're not into jumping out here creating things that no one wants to buy, right? So we're going to do our research. The very first thing you're going to do is research on Google, right? You're going to type in the topic of your ebook and see what comes up. What are the most popular blogs and websites that come up for this topic? You're going to read through those things and see the type of information that they put in. You're going to do the same thing on YouTube as well. Find the top creators for that topic, find the top videos, and make sure you go through the comments of these videos. What are people talking about the most in the comments of these videos? What are some questions that people are asking? Because maybe the creator didn't go in depth when it comes to that particular part of the topic. You want to make sure you're getting into the mind of your potential buyers. What is it that they truly want to know? Not what do you think they want want to know what is it that they really want to know and going in depth into these comments and into videos and blog posts and articles is really going to give you an idea of what people are asking when it comes to that particular thing there's a website called answer the public that you can also go to and type in your top question for this particular niche and it will give you loads and loads of questions that people are asking around this topic this can give you another great great insight into the topics that should be within your ebook. Now, after you've done that surface level research, you wanna to begin to ask your audience. You want to ask them exactly what it is that they want. If you have a newer audience and, and they're not really responding to you or you know they're not answering back, because that happens you know, when our audience is cold and we haven't done a good job of engaging with them, or we're new and our, our audience is not that large, sometimes people just won't answer, especially if you give them a question where you're expecting that they're gonna go in depth. No, give them closed-ended questions where it's a yes or no. When it comes to this topic, do you want to know more about this part or this part where they can just give a simple, quick answer, whether it's on your Instagram stories, on your YouTube community tab. You know, don't give them something where they have to give you an explanation, child, whatever that, that type of 
of question is. Give them something and give them very specifics to choose behind it. Go live with your audience. A lot of you are missing out on a whole bag because you're so afraid to go live with your audience. These are real people on the other end of this, on, on the other end of the camera. If you're building an audience and you're trying to build an audience of real people and really be connected in with your people, you're going to have to talk to them. So go live around the topic that you're considering doing the ebook on and simply ask them questions. You will be surprised of the feedback that you will get on a live stream because people want you to answer their question directly. And so they're more prone to, you know, give you the information that you're looking for. Just go live on the topic, right? And have a conversation around it and watch all the information flow in. Now, once you've done your thorough research and you've taken notes on the most common questions that you're seeing or, you know, the information that you see needs to be included in this ebook, now it's time to outline the ebook, right? So you want to go step by step on what you want to include. You're, you're making an outline, right? This is how you're going to keep your information organized so that it reads well to the person that's going to buy it. So you're going to create that outline. You're going to make sure that you're including the most important questions people have around it. The thing that people want to know how to do. You're going to go deep, you know, go as deep as you need to go in order to clearly answer the one question you're trying to answer with your ebook. Like I said, we're not trying to throw everything that we know into this one ebook. Trust me, I feel you, I know how it is. I like to be thorough. Your girl is a teacher and so I like to go deep too. But when it comes to an ebook, you don't want this thing to be way too long and people never can finish it you know, and never accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. You want to make it a shorter read than a longer read, in my opinion. Any ebook that I've ever bought has not been like this massive 100 page document. If I wanted that, I would have bought a book, but that's, that's, that's me though, right? There is no length that it needs to be. People ask me this all the time. It needs to be as long as it needs to be to answer the question and as short as it can be to get your point across, right? So there's no clear answer there. Make it as long as it needs to be, right? But you want to outline very specifically everything that you're going to put inside of the ebook. So you're going to outline it with the header topic that you're going to be talking about. You're gonna break down the subheadings on the things within that topic that you're going to talk about. And you're going to set this up exactly how you want to write it. This is the most important part. The the outline part, the research and the outline should take longer than the actual writing of the book because this is where you're figuring out how to put that value inside your book. So make sure you take a nice amount of time on your research and your outline. I would say no more than 24 hours because you can write this in a day for sure, hands down. And honestly, you can do this entire thing in a weekend. And if you're interested in seeing me do an ebook in a weekend, let me know in the comments and I'll show y'all exactly how easy this is to do in another video. But you're gonna, I would say give yourself about 24 hours to do the research. It doesn't have to be in one sitting cause maybe you don't have that kind of time cause I know I don't. But you know, a good 24 hours to do some thorough, thorough research to make sure that you're going to cover all the aspects that need to be covered. And then I would say give yourself about 24 hours to do the outline as well. Obviously it doesn't take that long for the outline. if you did good research, but I'm just saying, give yourself a day. Now, like I said, the writing can be done in a day, but you need to take some time on that research and the outline before we get into the actual writing. Now it's time for us to actually write the ebook. And I know you're probably saying that Keisha, this is the hardest part because I absolutely hate writing, but not so fast. All you're going to do is whip out your cell phone or whip out your laptop and do voice to text. You're simply going to talk about the topic that you're so knowledgeable in and that you're so passionate about and you're gonna let the device type it for you. On any Mac product, there's a voice to text feature and you can simply talk it out. Now, if you do not have a Mac product, I would go into the app store and find a voice to text app, something like Otter, and I would talk out my content. I would talk it out. 
after you sit there and you just do your whole thing, do your thing, you know, talk it out, say what you need to say. You should have pages and pages of text to turn into your ebook. Now, obviously it's not going to be formatted at this point, but we're not there yet. We, we just want to get this information on paper, right? You've talked it out. Your ebook is done and now it's time for us to format it. Now it's time for us to format the document. So after you've done all the voice to text, you will need to do some editing to that document. You're going to need to go in and make some spelling corrections, you know, change up some paragraphs, how you said things. You're going to want to do that. Okay. You want to go in there and make it look a little bit, you know, fancy enough for you to be able to take the information and transfer it over to the actual ebook right next you're going to go to canva canva is absolutely free they have a free subscription even though there is a paid option which i use because there's so many options on the templates and the photos and all that good stuff and hands down it's just amazing i don't think i could run my business without it i absolutely love canva but you're going to go in canva you can use the free version and you're going to look up an ebook template or a4 document and you're going to simply take that information that you spoke onto the document and that you kind of pre-format it and you're going to transfer it over to one of those templates. It's really, really that simple. Now, if you want to make it even simpler, you can simply take the document that you spoke out and that you got together and leave it exactly like that. It does not have to be this groundbreaking, beautiful template. The only thing you need to do at that point is create a cover page for your document. And you can do that in Canva as well. Go to Canva, choose a cover page, make it cute and combine it together with the document that you spoke it all out on. Really, really simple you can use Canva to format your document and make it all cute and put it all together. Okay, now you have your document all beautiful and it's put together and you have your ebook created. And now you need to know how to get it to your customers, right? We're going to do that by simply uploading that document into a system like SendOwl. SendOwl is simply a system that distributes digital products for you. Any type of digital product Product, but for today we're talking about ebooks all you need to do is go to send out I'll, I'll put a link to them down in my description sign up for your account it's absolutely free you don't have to pay anything and you are going to upload your ebook into the system there you're gonna put your price tag on it and they're going to create a payment gateway for you. It's really that simple. And so once you're selling your ebook, the only thing you have to do is give your people the link. They click on the link, they go purchase it, send out, sends it to them. And then send out, sends you your money. It's really that simple. But in order to get those sales, obviously you need to have a system in place in order to get people over to that link so that you can make those sales. And if you need to know how to do that, make sure you watch this video right here. I go in depth on exactly how to do that.